Rebecca and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to prepare coconut vegetable fried rice. You know, forget about this night where sometimes when you're hungry and you don't have anything in the house and you just wake up in the morning, you need something like, have you had a feeling before? Like feeling for some kind of something special. So you just rush to the kitchen, forgetting how you look like. That's it. So all we are going to be needing today is green pepper. I know everybody knows what this is, spring onions. Then we need some carrots. We have some onions. I like the local ones because it, it has a like, nicer taste than the foreign one. That's my preference anyway. Then we need some garlic. Then we have some ginger here. Yeah. Then we have some green beans over here. It's just too much. I love lots of vegetables. So any vegetable that I think is comfortable, except okra and garden, is, <laughs> of course, which you can add to it. Then we are going to have some eggs. Then we have fresh green pepper. Then we are going to be using some the salt as you have to taste. Then powdered pepper. Those are the powdered pepper. This is the typical like Ghanaian powdered pepper. So these food stuff are things that I have at home and I'm trying to combine so you don't necessarily need anything for it. We are going to be having my nutmeg and my seasoning cubes here. Then this is curry powder. Curry powder. Then I love this Maggi aroma taste. It's just something I love to cook in my coconut um, rice, coconut vegetable fried rice with. Then I have garlic powder here too. I love both the local and this because it adds some flavor. I know this is conventional, so it has to be very good. So use the Oba sunflower oil because it um, has low fat and low cholesterol. So if you are in Ghana, remember that you can get the Oba sunflower oil in any shop. Oba sunflower oil, that's what I prefer to use when I'm cooking. The major ingredient today is our coconut, which has already been peeled off. And I prefer to also use coconut milk. So we are going to, I'll teach you how to extract milk from raw coconuts. And then as well, if you don't have time to do this, you can prefer to use the coconut milk. But I prefer to use both so that when so I use the process, coconut milk in it, I we are going to be chopping all our vegetables. Of, uh, we start by chopping well. our carrots, so how to do this as we our green beans, our onions. Then you can dice your ginger your fresh green pepper and your spring onions as well our vegetables we have the carrots we have the onion pour a little the amount of your oba sunflower oil, oil into a saucepan and you use your sofia so rice i recommend sofia rice food. because it tastes good and then it comes out one one if you are in ghana there are only three brands of rice i'll prefer sofia rice my dear gold and my dear rice you can get these brands of rice in all supermarkets nationwide then you fry your rice for some minutes this process is to help with the aroma and the taste as well. Now we dice our fresh coconuts. Then we put it in a blender and blend it. We add amount of water. That's a considerable amount of water to it so that we'll be able to get enough milk. You blend it and after you sieve out the chaff, leaving the milk so you can use to cook our next step is to pour the fresh coconut milk we made into our rice on fire then add our canned coconut milk as well you can do this or you can also prefer to use only the homemade coconut milk or only the canned coconut milk this process is optional but I prefer to use both because of the taste I get from it but like I said you can choose to just go with one now you stir the coconut milk so that the Every grain of rice will be able to absorb the coconut milk. You add an amount of salt and a considerable amount of water to cook the rice. But remember, with Sophia rice, it doesn't need lots of water because it's of high quality. 
then we cover the cooking pot and allow to cook for some minutes. Finally, our coconut rice is ready. Now it's time to make our fried rice, that's our coconut fried rice. You put the pot on fire and make sure it's hot. Then you add an amount of your oba sunflower oil, your onions, your diced fresh green pepper. Then you add a bit of your powdered pepper. We are going to be adding all our vegetables, our carrots, our green beans, our spring onions, our green pepper or the bell pepper. Then you saute the vegetables to make it a bit softer because the more you saute, the more it cooks and it gets a bit softer. So we saute our vegetables. Then we add our curry powder. We've added our ginger already and our garlic. Then we add our seasoning cubes. In fact, all the spices we are going to be needing. Finally, we add our eggs into it. The eggs, you leave it on the pot for some time so that you don't just stay right away else it's going to mash into it. So you leave it for some time and let it cook. Then with my favorite Maggi Aroma, you sprinkle some on it and stir for the eggs to cook evenly. It's time to add our garlic powder. Personally, I love lots of garlic in my food. So I prefer to put it in at this time so that I'll be able to get a taste in it. Then we add our rice. This is the process that I love the most. But remember, don't just clamp all the rice into the vegetables. Do it bit by bit and keep stirring. Else when you clamp poor, you are certain that you are going to your work is going to come out poorly or your food is going to come out poorly. So take it bit by bit. Put the rice in bit by bit and keep stirring to mix it and get your coconut fried rice our food is ready yo. i present to you ghana coconut fried rice but no coconut fried rice cannot be complete without adding some grated coconuts to have that crunchy feeling of coconut Finally, yo, I present to you Ghana coconut fried rice. It looks good. Find us at home for yourself, for your family, and everybody. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can hit the notification button so that when we upload, you'll be able to receive all updates from us. Thank you so much for watching and see you on our next video.